In Australia, permanent residents and citizens have access to a universal healthcare system called Medicare. It allows all Medicare cardholders to get free treatment at public hospitals and at so-called bulk billing medical practices. Personally, I think it's a good service and a necessary service. Without it, we would run into the same sort of problems America has faced in recent years. For example, one study shows that medical bills are the biggest cause of bankruptcy in the United States. Of course, if any of us or one of our loved ones required life-saving surgery, we would pay whatever is necessary in order to save them. The TV show Breaking Bad famously fictionalized an example of the American healthcare system. Walter White, a high school chemistry teacher, finds out he has lung cancer and decides the best way to pay for his treatment is by manufacturing and distributing methamphetamine. It's an extreme example, but not too far from the truth. In Australia, dental care is generally not covered by Medicare. It does cover children aged 2 to 17 for basic dental services, and there are public dental surgeries that only accept low-income earners who require, in general, emergency dental treatment. For example, an Australian adult could not just rock up at a public dental surgery and ask to have their six-monthly checkup. Gold-plated teeth, anyone? Not too long ago, one of my relatives, let's call her Julie, had a problem with one of her teeth, so she went to see our local dentist. He was an elderly man, probably in his 70s, and had the mentality that his job was to help people, not to profit from people's misery. Sadly, he no longer practices dentistry, as he recently retired. Anyway, he cleaned a few of Julie's teeth, as well as placed a special medicated temporary filling in one. This occurred over two visits and cost $100. It was a fair price for a temporary solution. A few weeks later, a small part of Julie's newly filled tooth fell out. She went back to the same dentist, and he put another temporary filling in. As was his style, he did not charge for this visit. He then told her that he would be retiring soon, and that she would have to seek out another dentist to work out a more permanent solution for the tooth. He told her that a new dentist would be coming to take over his practice. A month or so later, the temporary filling fell out, so Julie went to see the new dentist. He did a comprehensive assessment of her teeth, with the help of an x-ray she had previously taken, for a total of $57. He told her that she would have to have the that tooth removed, as well as another tooth. She was also told that she needed to have a deep-scale cleaning for all of her teeth. He told her that there was no option but to remove the two teeth, and that with the current technology, they were impossible to repair. He told her that the bare minimum treatment would be to remove the two teeth, $390 each, plus $180, plus the cleaning, $300, for a total of $1,260. The dentist's next recommendation was to do the previously mentioned work, plus give a third tooth root canal therapy. This would come to a total of $3,304. Finally, he offered another option to fill in the gaps with bridges, for a grand total of $5,183. Julie's immediate thought was that this was far too expensive, so to get a second opinion, she went to see another dentist on the other side of town. The receptionist at the third dentist told Julie that an appointment would cost $45, which was the reason she chose this dentist over other dentists. The dentist introduced himself as Joseph, and told her that the tooth, the one which the temporary filling had fallen out of, required a root canal treatment for a cost of approximately $1,700. This was the same tooth that the previous dentist told her was impossible to repair. He gave her another option of having the tooth removed for $230. He also told her that her teeth needed cleaning, removal of calculus, for a total of $85, and gave her the option of filling the gap with a bridge, which would cost $4,300. By this stage, she was just shocked at the seemingly ridiculous prices that she was being quoted. She went to settle her bill for the visit, and the fee was $65. $20 more than the original quoted price. She questioned the receptionist about it, who went and spoke with Joseph to find out the details. He said that the extra expense was due to the extra time it took to examine Julie's teeth. However, Julie was never informed of the time limit in order to keep the price to the standard $45 fee. Problems with Dentistry in Australia 1. Dentistry in Australia does not seem to be consistent between dentists. One dentist told Julie that she would definitely need to get two teeth removed, but another told her that a root canal was possible. 2. Pricing is chaotic. There seems to be no consistency between dentists' pricing. For example, one dentist's cleaning cost $85, while another cost $350 for seemingly the same treatment. A tooth extraction costs $230 at one dentist, but in excess of $390 at another. 
One dentist quoted multiple bridges for $5,183, whereas another dentist quoted a single bridge for $4,300. Furthermore, the dental quotes always state something to the effect of prices are subject to change due to unforeseen circumstances. If I go to the doctor, the doctor would never state such a thing. Also, Julie was quoted $45 for a visit, but charged $65. If this happened in any other industry, people would be outraged. 3. Pricing is too high. There seems to be no upper limit on the prices dentists charge. A root canal for $1,700 seems excessive. Joseph told Julie it would require a 45-minute appointment and showed her the materials he would use. I can't understand how anybody can expect to get paid $1,700 for less than an hour's work. $4,300 for a single bridge, in my opinion, is bordering on criminal. 4. Dentistry is not covered by Medicare. I think this is the major problem with dentistry in Australia. I can't understand why every other part of the human body is covered by Medicare to some extent, yet the teeth are not. Why is it that Julie can see a doctor about her existing intestinal problem and not be charged a cent, that is, bulk billed, yet just to see a dentist costs in excess of $60, and her health is none the better? The only thing that these large quotes are doing to people's health are causing them stress and anxiety. Possible Solutions in such an affluent country as Australia, why is it that we allow such rampant exploitation of people's health regarding their teeth? Why is it not possible to implement a denticare scheme or similar? I'm sure the average person would not mind paying a little bit extra if they knew they could get free checkups and discounted procedures. Clearly the industry needs some sort of regulation. As it stands, it seems dentists set their own prices based on completely arbitrary factors. It would be unfair for a doctor to expect a patient to pay $1,700 to fix a broken finger, or giving them the option of having it removed for $200. It's not like Julie was scrounging off Australian society, she was working five days a week and paying her fair share of tax. In my opinion, dentistry in Australia does not benefit the average Australian. I feel that a dentist's role should not be to make high profits, but to help the community with their oral care. Something is very wrong where care for a single tooth costs in excess of $4,000. I've seen various segments on news and current affairs programs concerning dentistry, many involving people avoiding the dentists due to the high costs involved. Ultimately, this doesn't benefit Australia. Australia spends about $32 billion on national defence, which includes bombing countries in the middle of nowhere who pose no threat to Australia. It's estimated that a universal denticare system would cost about $6 billion. In general, Australia is a great country to live in. Most people are very helpful and fair. However, the dentistry industry is the ugly side. We need a major rethink of how we want to treat our citizens and residents. I don't want to live in a country that allows people to sacrifice their health simply because the price of treatment is too high.